Welcome back on this Friday morning. We have a few hot and humid days on the horizon for us. Basically, this weekend through Monday is going to be hot and humid. And we're also expecting some storms to return by tomorrow evening. We could have some severe weather as well with those thunderstorms. So here's what's happening. Here's the setup. This is the jet stream pattern. There's this big ridge of high pressure on the west end of the nation all the way back here, and that will eventually shift east, pumping in a lot of hot and humid air into the Great Lakes in the upper Midwest. And this is tomorrow afternoon and evening. You can see the difference with that color scheme. Tap it into those hues of fuchsia closer to home. And we'll stay that way on Sunday. Then the pattern changes a little bit and we'll start to see a trough dig in on Wednesday and that will bring in a reprieve from the heat for basically the second half of next week. So it is not going to be for super long, just a few days. Here's what's happening at the surface. We have high pressure at the surface. That's our dominating feature that moved in yesterday. It's still going to control our conditions today, extending through most of tomorrow. So high pressure generally means some dry weather, but there is going to be a small disturbance that works in tomorrow late in the day, and it's coming up against this area of high pressure. So it'll take a little while for those thunder showers and storms to fire up because it's going to be kind of battling it out. But Ahead of that, we do have humidity that will be increasing tomorrow. It'll be noticeable. Uh, dew point temperatures in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees as we head towards tomorrow afternoon. It's still kind of staying in those ranges on Sunday, extending into Monday as well. So with that being said, there are some things that you need to make note of. If you're going to be outdoors for an extended period of time, potentially exercise early in the day or late in the day. Make sure that you have your hat, your sunglasses, an umbrella to protect you from the sun, your sunscreen. Or your lightweight, light colored clothing. Stay in shaded areas as much as possible. And of course, stay hydrated every single day. Stay hydrated every couple of hours. Make sure you're having at least a glass of water. Coconut water is amazing. Uh, and then also avoid alcohol. And if you can, Avoid being outdoors during peak daytime heating hours of the day. And what I mean by that is generally basically between 2 and 6 o'clock in the afternoon. That's when those rays are at the strongest. Today, low to mid 80s and interior areas along Lake Michigan, 70s expected. Starting off in the 60s tomorrow morning and reaching upper 80s tomorrow afternoon interior areas. With some spots potentially reaching and topping off at around 90 degrees. Even the shorelines of the Great Lakes will be remaining above normal. And and then staying that way on Sunday as well. Here's your hour by hour for today. Sunny and generally dry wind flow out of the south, 5 to 10. There is a small potential for an isolated pop up shower, thunder shower to form due to lake breezes this afternoon, but we're not expecting widespread rain. Most of tomorrow staying dry. After 4 o'clock, though, we'll notice a few pop up showers start to form across the west to end of the UP. And we are expecting a line of thunderstorms to move in tomorrow evening between 8 and 10 o'clock across the west end of the UP. This is the line I'm talking about. This line could be strong to severe. And now as it pushes east around midnight tomorrow night into early Sunday morning, it starts to weaken as it moves towards the eastern UP. As we look at Sunday into Monday, we do have still some chances for a few of those scattered thunder showers. Now tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, those thunderstorms that move through could be strong to severe, producing mainly large hail and some strong winds along with some heavy downpours. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center has the western areas of the UP under a marginal risk for some strong to severe weather and hazards, including, as I mentioned, that large hail and some strong winds. Those are going to be the main impacts from those thunderstorms tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. Now, after all of that, we're looking at some generally cooler conditions starting on Wednesday. 